Hey guys, windy today. I've been here for like, um, well, a couple of hours. I haven't found any coins, but I just popped a really nice one. You can see the bust clearly in the radiate crown. You can see the reverse quite clearly. Someone holding a set of scales. Happy with that one for today. Nice. Oh. Eighty four. see what it is. It's quite a strong signal. Just seeing if I can eyeball it. Unfortunately, it's the tip off a bullet casing. I just got a banging signal right here. To me, that thick looking rim sticking out of the clod must be a Roman Cistercius. Not sure what state of condition it will be in. Might be very fragile. Yeah, that's what it is. Cistercius worn. Oh, the reverse is worn, but the bust side is legible. I'm trying to make out what that says there. I think that could be an Antoninus Pius. The reverse patina is coming the way. You can see an SC. Oh, it's coming through a bit more. That actually looks like it's got Mars on the back. God of War. I haven't found a full Cistercius in a long time. Look at the thickness of that thing. I think I just popped. I think I just popped another plated silver coin. This one is a bit more obvious than the Gita. And see there where it's come away and it the copper's been bleeding through creating this green on there I can't tell what Emperor that is hmm. um. unsure but interesting considering we found that plated Gita coin a little bit day ago I'm going to search this area it's popped another Roman I think there'll be something on that Kind of dark looking. It's got a very strange reverse. Oh no, I get it now. It's the eagle reverse. Nice. Should be able to get a good ID for that one. 
There's the eagle. I've just spotted a tooth. This one definitely isn't fossilised, but maybe it was lost here during the Roman period. I wonder if this was a horse. I wonder if this was a horse's tooth. I bet it's Roman related. Cool. Well, I just found another killer condition Roman coin. It's probably too dark to focus on stuff. There. Of that. Another quality coin. Oh, got a soul in the back there. Hey, we're having such a good day on this site today. I just dug this. It looks like a follis. And again, the condition still really nice. Follis. Cestercius today. Oh. What a time. Okay, so I think this may be the best conditioned bronze Roman coin that I've ever found. Look at the quality of that. Galenius. I've this I've never seen a bronze <laughs> come out of the ground looking this good. Quality. Whoa. It's history staring back at us. Got another nice signal here. Coming up seventy two eighty four stick digger thing. I think it's gonna be a coin. in there sounds large it looks coin like focus wow all I can say to that. This might be a denarii. Let's see what we've got on here. Oh. 
I was hoping for a denarii, and this is a real imperial denarii. It doesn't look plated, it looks like the real one. I found this in Sturtis, this area yesterday. It's got some heavy concretion on there. I'll be right back. Back. So there is a sort of heavy concretion stuck to the surface of this denarii. Um, as the man with the hat and the metal detector said, if there was a green coating on a denarii, it might indicate that it's been laying with other denarii in a hoard. That might be too optimistic to say, but this is not a plated example, it's a full silver denarii at last. Possibly... Possibly Marcus Aurelius. Nice, nice. Nearly sort of uh, searched systematically right through the main concentration of this settlement, um, kind of on the outskirts. The last decent find was at Denari, but I've got uh, signals of fear and far between, but whoa, listen to that. 81 This could be a coin I'm hoping, I mean, I've been here several days now and I have not found a brooch so It's getting their brooch time, I'd say Right Might be a big lump of lead, but it's ringing high for that, I'd say. It's more like. Ah! Shotty! Come on, shotty! That's how the live digs go.